Hey, welcome back to What Else, the podcast where we explore creative curiosities and find inspiration along the way. And I'm your host, El Slovenia. And in today's episode, we have a very inspiring guest, Ressa Mbutin. She's an exceptional multimedia artist and her recent mural work stands as a vivid testament to her artistic brilliance. Ressa is also a illustrator for Canva and she's also a choral featured artist and You know, she has established herself as a true creative powerhouse. So Reza's journey is an inspiring tale of continuous creative evolution where she skillfully balances her diverse passions, navigating the realm of creativity and unyielding curiosities. So uh, join us today as we dive into Reza's endless world of possibilities where her multi-potentialite spirit shines through. What else? guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're listening from where you are. <laughs> I'm Ressa. I am a Davao-based uh, multimedia artist and I'm also part of the Davao Graphic Designers community. I've been always part of that since like I'm in my college days and uh, yun lang. looking forward to what we can talk about this podcast with. What else? So fast forward to today. Uh, what's your mm-hmm. main work, talaga? Aside from the many murals, many resa, uh, oh. you're working for Canva, and you mentioned Corel, right? So uh, I've I've quit like my corporate job last 2019, and I just really got burned out with the office setup. So wala pa da- talaga akong parang solid plan man. I just want to like rest. And right before I left uh, the company, I spilled the beans, my art portfolio art everywhere. And I also like updated my online portfolios. And it happened na hiring, hiring si Canva that time, that year with uh, freelance illustrators. And it really fitted what I wanted na remote work, ganyan. So, yun, napasok ako and then ever since, uh, I have been a contributing artist for Canva. If you're a user of Canva, you can see my works doon sa Elements tab. Uh, you can use for free. And also, on that same year, I got invited to be a contributing artist for Corel. Um, by the way, I've been using Corel since like my college days mm-hmm. kasi that was the parang the software that is Available. pre-installed doon sa, uh-huh. sa home lab, sa home lab ng college. <laughs> And uh, that was the time I was deber- deliberating if I have chosen the right course for me kasi I, I know that I am an artist, but why did I choose IT? Siguro for the practicality na lang din, but doon na nag-sync in sa akin na, oh my God, I can draw digitally pala. I don't have to spend that much money on like the art materials, like, all the fine art students does. So, ayun, I've been using Corel for like a decade na din. And uh, all my digital artworks like vector illustrations, uh, I upload ko and they eventually got noticed it. And when they contacted me, they wanted to feature my works. I told them, oh, I've been using the crack version. Is that okay? <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I was afraid that time that they might find out that I'm not using the legit version. Oh, okay. Well, we all had that moments <laughs> na na parang mahal naman ng ano ng legit copy. Yeah, so yeah. I I just sugar coated it that uh, I've been using the crack version, but on the good side, I have created a lot of opportunities using your program, <laughs> and that was a really like a fulfilling a uh, career growth for me and. Also, if you're if you're like uh, not if you're not willing to collaborate with me, because I've been using the crack one, it's okay, it's understandable, naman. But you know, in the end, they still like accepted it, and then they gave me a legit copy na for the first time. Baka ano rin eh? Baka ganon din reaction nila. Baka tumawag rin sila nung pag ano mo oh. pag message mo. <laughs> nung ano rin? Uh, actually, yeah, I remember sa one of your design meetup talks I think na you mentioned na Corel nga ang gamit mo 
I think yeah, Mm-mm. parang na ano ko na react ako mo. Oh, may may you know people are still using Corel pala. <laughs> that was yeah, so amazing, amazing na you've you know you've been using you know uh, not so popular but still super powerful. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My artworks for ano for like promotionals ganyan. and um for the first time um they use my artwork as a splash screen for i think the 2023 version this year mm-hmm. so yun yung parang re- reawakening moment for me na oh my god i've been using this um program for so long and then when i boot up the program it's my art that it's yeah. like already loading oh so parang Is this the peak moment na ba? Oh. <laughs> yeah, very inspiring Aww. and amazing achievement. But uh mm-hmm. let me go back to ano, nung 2019 when you quit your corporate job. Timing lang din talaga na you got the Canva job as well and then pandemic okay. happened. So Uh-oh. very convenient din talaga na move. I think na timely lang din na remote work talaga siya and then uh, uh, during fan- pandemic wala talaga ng ibang job it's just the canva that's keeping me afloat and uh, yung pinaka struggle ko lang that time is they're requiring their contractors to uh, apply for a uh, parang business permit and during that time mahirap magpunta ng mga government offices kasi nga pandemic buti na habol ko siya right before march kasi yung march talaga yung where the lockdown happened so i was able to like um make habol all the requirements for the lockdown happened so in a long good thing <laughs> and ayun ever since um wala na akong hindi na ako bumalik sa office job um also pala during my um january days i've got already doing like a few gigs of mural Um, my first parang paid work when I was assisting Paolo Ramirez at a mural project doon sa, which is now closed, a bar in Rizal. And he gave me the chance to parang input my contact doon sa mural. And people noticed the mural kasi maganda siya. And I got my first inquiry through that. So I kind of like, let's say, I I'm an apprentice of Paolo <laughs> for, for mural kasi hindi siya nag-pursue ng full-time mural eh kasi mm. ano minsan din uh, secret oh, garden oh, busy din siya sa secret garden niya ganon oh, shout out guys Paolo Ramirez <laughs> secret garden secret cafe. garden cafe oh, uh, so yun um, I got my first paid mural for a uh, milk tea shop and Uh, that time, I was also fortunate to have been offered like, oh, you can do whatever you want. So I was able to create my own personal art. Kasi minsan pag mga mural inquiries, parang especially if yung owner or yung parang architect yung nag-uusap, they already have like a visual that Fixed they want. Mm. Yeah, especially if it's aligned with their brand. But that time, parang okay naman sa kanila yung proposal ko. And, uh, ayun, uh, they, parang ginagal ko siya between uh, uh, office work, tapos mural pagkagabi, ganun. And, yeah, ever since nagsunod-sunod na siya, um, but that time, hindi pa masyadong fixated yung art style ko because, you know, that early stages of, like, learning a new medium, parang you're still in the... Uh, exploration stage. You you want to try all the styles. You want to try all the learn what what's visible or not visible in the mm-hmm. process. So, ayun lang. Pagdating ng ano? Pagdating ng pandemic, walang work kasi you know businesses are all closed. So, buti na lang may kanba. <laughs> And during 2020, naman, I got like one a couple of mural commissions, but that was for a residential. Eh, yung isa parang bagong open ng din na milk tea shop nag-take ng race sila doon sa business kahit pandemic because um, it was supposed to launch 
right before pandemic, eh, sayang naman yung para contract nila. So, ayun siya. And then, after 2020, 2021 came, I, I got offered to paint on a brisa. That was the biggest mural project we ever had. That was like a 600 square meter project. Uh, and parang doon yung parang peak moment ko with the mural scene. And I deliberately wanted to introduce the art style that I really want to pursue. Kasi, uh, especially, this is important for the starting artists that they have to have like an art style that they want to be known for. Parang yun yung magiging visual trademark mo na like when people see your work, oh, they know it's yours because you have that kind of like parang identity on your art. And when I got that chance, parang I planned everything. I wanted to launch my page. I wanted to launch all these parang ba, um, parang all the list that I wanted to pursue so I can take murals seriously. Yun siya, ever since that, nagsunod-sunod na yung mga inquiries with the style. Though, meron naman yung mga ibang projects na medyo off lang konti, may experimental then like I did comic art styles, mm. ganon. But still, I was able to introduce that style and uh, lately, people are, I mean like clients are coming to me wanting that style. So it kind of worked in the end with that goal. <laughs> That's the, you know, yan na yung mga gina-aspire talaga ma-achieve din talaga ng mga artists na to, to have that distinct you, na mm-hmm. unique you na look. So, <laughs> you know, kudos to you, Rest, na you, you have, yeah. you know, achieved that, ano na, that, that your own yeah. unique look. What, what has been like the most difficult mural so far which oh, the most or difficult. difficult and dangerous or dangerous meron bang delikado or dangerous um dangerous i think wala naman so far it's risky yes but to the point siguro na dangerous uh not yet wala. siguro i think the most tallest we ever done is dun sa market basket we all parang ano kataas ba yun? parang around two floors ganon siguro if uh, abot ako sa point that I'll be painting like a one side of the building mm. siguro yun yun siguro yung magiging parang dangerous for me especially if dito sa sa local I mean I envy those mural artists outside because they have lot like of like ano, they can access those parang machine-powered mm-hmm. lifters, ganon. Pero dito, parang sobrang mahal niya. I don't think if if willing naman yung client magpahiram or mag-offer ng ganon, that's fine. Pero if wala, you have to have like use the alternative like, ganon. Magiging Spider-Man ka siguro. No? <laughs> scary. If ever. Oo, oh, diba? Scary siya. Pero I'm I'm willing to take naman. Hindi naman ako like afraid of heights. Ganyan. Pero so far, yung pinaka-challenging for me is yung Abrisa siguro. Abrisa Mall, yung all out the floor mural. Mm-hmm. Kasi sobrang laki niya and took me a lot of time of planning of how to transfer the art to the, ano, the floor. Also, yung isang challenge din is the floor is made up of tiles and No, in the first place, you cannot paint tiles unless you use that specific paint talaga for tiles. And second, yung floor. Floor is, you know, like very vulnerable for like foot traffic. Kahit na yung mga ano, di ba? Kahit na yung mga pedestrian lanes, they need main, constant maintenance on that. Kasi na-erase siya. Lalo na kung mural pa. So, yun siya. I told the client before na I don't think this will last a very long time. Kasi... Uh, floor murals doesn't last long and tiles pa siya so sobrang resistant na ang paint doon sa tiles so I think the max lang ng lifespan nun is around 3 months but they still took the risk you know kasi uh, yung initiative talaga nila nun is to make a mural for people to come in again 
after pandemic. So that's their marketing. Uh, they want to, to make the place vibrant. Para din parang the goal of uplifting the people. That they can see the art and then they'll be motivated. So I think in the end, it still works. And actually, it won an award. Yun pala yung goal ng, <laughs> yun pala yung goal ng client. They, they submitted the, the whole project brief to Golden Steve Awards. And it won an award. So I think we all managed to be ano, met our expectations in the end. Congrats. How many ba ang ano mo, main main team, main people? How many people help you? Oh, um um I have a team of 5. Mm-hmm. Uh sige, shout out to sila. Uh Kuya JR, uh Leo, who has been my assistant for like since the beginning. <laughs> uh Marielle also. Uh Kuya Regan, my partner Ralph, my other supportive tatay. Yung sila, yung mga main people in my mural team. And sobrang lucky din ako sa people, sa mga ano ko, kasama ko. Kasi they have been always there since, ano, parang naging staple na din sila. I think what I appreciate is that I think okay naman siguro yung kind of leadership ko. Kasi hindi naman ako always nag-change ng people. And then they like working with me too. You know, like, Kahit minsan parang pressure yung project, go pa rin. And then, what I appreciate most is that they're very initiative people. Like, mga minor decisions during the project. Oh, I have a problem here. Then, yeah. They can manage to fix it on their own. Parang when I go back on site, kasi meron akong other projects din na hindi na shackle minsan. When I go back on their site, parang, oh, ay ate, pinalitan namin itong ganito. Ganun din yan. Ah, okay, better. <laughs> so, parang it's a good yes. thing that they can, you know, parang they can solve their problem on their own. And uh, sobrang lucky to, to have them. So, thank you guys. Uh, sobrang, you uh, know, sobrang happy for, for you guys. <laughs> Congrats to the whole team. Na, yeah. ano, dapat, dapat ano na ngayon, like, the, with the, with your latest post na mural map of of all your murals yeah. parang makihelp na sa Davao Tourism din yun parang meron ng ano talaga sana nga photo, photo ano di ba <laughs> sana naman push yan, push. Um, local government baka naman <laughs> I think it will I think mapansin yeah. talaga ito ng local government talaga na since you know it's all over the city parang whole city na ilan, ilan na ba yun 20 count 24 yung nakalagay sa map? Um, yung nilagay ko, actually, I forgot a few. Hindi ko natagdag. Oh. <laughs> when I was reviewing my previous works, like, oh, hindi ko nasama. But hindi ko sinali yung mga nag-close na na businesses mm. because they're not available anymore. So, if I add up, I think I did already like 40 plus projects in the span of like 5 years plus. And hindi, hindi ko pa sinama yung projects ko outside Davao. I have projects mm. outside Davao and yun lang, nilagay ko lang yung Davao map just to have like parang an overview, oh ganito na pala karami yung ano ko, yung projects ko so far. Mostly nasa downtown sila, pero yung iba parang nasa Mintal, nasa Turil, and then um, meron din ako sa Samal, and then I think yung pinakamalayo ko is sa Cebu, and that's Boss Coffee, but I think, I don't know anymore if it's open or not. So, kuna nang din siya sinama. But yun lang, I have a lot of projects na hindi ko sinali, especially dun sa mga residential, kasi they're private, diba? Cannot visit. Punta natin tong bahay nito, ko alam saan to. So, I don't want to add that. That's, that's, that's a residential project. So, yun siya, hindi ko sinama yung iba. Yan, yan. Easter eggs na yan. Oh. Easter eggs. <laughs> Oo, Easter eggs na lang. Also, I mention, I will add this na um, this year lang talaga ako naglagay ng ano, ng main ko sa mga murals ko. I, I don't use to do adding my name on my works because I still have that parang 
ano, uh, what you call that? Um, imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome then. <laughs> uh, parang, if this is too, ano, they'll know me if they'll know me, ganon. But, my, Ralph, my partner Ralph encouraged me this year na, lagyan, may, may like last year pala, he encouraged me, lagyan mo na ng name. Kasi, hindi naman all the time, if may interested sa mural mo, they'll ask the owner, who painted this and then, kasi not everyone, uh, hindi naman sila ganun mag-approach. Mm. So at least if makita nila yung name mo, they can just search it up and then inquire you. So yun siya, sinimulan ko siya last year dun sa Pet Safari Project. And then, yun, oh my God, it worked. Kasi meron din na ko contact na. So I think it's fine na maglagay na talaga ng name. Kasi I think before, kaya hindi ko siya nilalagyan kasi it ruins the whole vibes. Mm. of the mural. Parang, I find it, ano din, parang, alam mo yun, parang, hindi siya, hindi siya fitting doon sa thing. But, the, ano lang pala, the goal, the tip lang pala doon is, just use, uh, parang, complementary color on your, ano, parang, syempre, if, if, if your mural doesn't have black, don't use black color on your tag. So, yun siya. Ah, okay. It worked naman pala. So, yun siya. <laughs> let, your, ano lang, let your signature blend in. Yeah, I'll, yun nga, mag-gather na nga ako ng energy to visit every one of them. Parang mag na talaga eh. Yun ang mga post din nila eh. Na go yeah. mural photo, photo hopping. <laughs> mural hopping. Yung siya, ano, eh, hindi ko naman talaga intention na mag mural hopping <laughs> yung, yung post na yun. Pero it gave me an idea kasi people are also suggesting do do something ano para uh, a challenge ganyan and then bigyan mo lang ng prize ganon so maybe I'll I'll post sometime mga challenges and then isipin ko pa ano pwede ko ipamigay na prize for that para para naman may ano activity yung page so hindi lang siya portfolio page <laughs> very very Amazing, amazing it is. Congrats, congrats on all your Thank achievements. You. <laughs> what do you want to do, especially if you're a starting artist and then sobrang dami na lang mediums that you can explore these days. And if you wanted to have like, uh, if like to step in in this industry, what do you want to do? Do you want to be like a video, the film and photography or in the 3D, or in the printing, ganon. So many options, so many or styles or time that you should put into. Mm. So I want to tackle on that. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, with the last guest, K Marvin Terren, we, mm-hmm. we touched on this parang similar na, na topic rin, but about that ano, uh, all, all art styles are like ang fundamentals is interconnected so mm-hmm. whether you start on something else na gusto mo at first you can still parang uh, uh, what, whatever lessons you have learned on that mm-hmm. uh, style or medium you can still find a way to apply it on other uh, yeah. mediums or art styles so mm-hmm. Is that a uh, part of ano din, uh, part of your idea? Yes, uh, because you know, it all goes back to being humans. We are uh, evolutionary people, so it's, it goes the same with what we do. Like, uh, but for you, Lani, I mean, else, <laughs> uh, yes. I've seen you like recently learn like three D, right? Mm-hmm. But before you did three D, you were already into photography. So what you learned on those photography like lighting, lighting skills, uh, you apply that in 3D. So, you don't, when you learn 3D, uh, parang alam mo na how the light works, ganon. So, uh, it's the same thing with exploring different mediums, right? Kasi, uh, what you learned on other things, you can apply it anywhere. So, I think that's also important na, you get to parang uh, taste each yeah. parang each flavor. Yeah. Uh, okay, I wanted to try 
this, but oh, I, I don't like the tingy part of this recipe. So I'm just picking these best ingredients that I can bring over to my next meal. So parang ganun yung idea na, uh, ano, can try exploring it. And then if it, is, if it doesn't work for you, then that's, that's fine. You can apply it to your next part. Yun lang. It might be costly, especially if you're investing on materials or mm-hmm. on equipment, ganon. But if you don't do that, if you didn't get to explore, parang, ano din, parang, you don't feel satisfied. So it doesn't have, you don't have to rush it, ganon. Mm-hmm. Some hobby may take months or years and, you know, the end, it's all about ano ba yung parang how fulfilling it is for you it is for you so when i was talking about like how to differentiate your hobbies and your hobbies that for your mental health and for your financial ganon mm. <laughs> so uh, for me i did just a background when i was in college um i did a lot of things like uh i tried doing t-shirt printing business because that time sobrang uso ng mga graphic tees, di ba? <laughs> and so I was able to ano, parang explore the vector illustration. So I was able to ano, like learn how to do the vector programs, especially Corel. I learned how half toning works, ganon, ganon, ganyan. Then realized, oh, this is too much ano, for me. And then I'll move on to portraits. You know, it's a diff- you know, it's still vector, but uh, the shading is different. Or you're working with gradients, you're working with uh, different approach na naman. So, ayun, uh, when I entered um, in the company, I, when I have money na, <laughs> ganun, I, ha- I was able to buy a lot of painting materials. Like, I explored watercolor, I explored all the, parang, Files, so I was able to bring my my idea of vector processes into traditional na naman, and then oh, ang hirap palang mag shading kasi you have to deal with the actual materials of like you have to have your water diluted to have to make your colors lighter. Ganon, it's yeah. a different approach naman, and so I move on to like acrylic painting na naman. Is I'm already starting this time following a lot of like mural projects and parang I'm, I really like how solid vector illustration works so I don't think I could work with watercolor so I wanted my paints to be very vivid and very filled so I, I move on to acrylics and I don't know, explore, explore so you're bringing all those knowledges on your previous experiences into your current work and that's how mag evolve yung, ano mo, yung style mo, yung ano mo. Ngayon naman, sa mural painting ko, um, I stuck on that style kasi making gradients really, na-OC ako. <laughs> yung baga parang ang hirap mag-shading, especially if acrylic. Then, um, if you see a lot of like, mga acrylic painting na sobra kaganda ng gradient, that's because they're taking it a long time to perfect that. And they're using a lot of like brushes. Ganon. So especially ngayon sa mural, it's kind of like fast paced because, you know, it's a project base. And uh, I, find, I find my art style really parang more practical because it's just solid. I don't have to deal with gradients. So it's easier for my assistants to follow along and ayun siya that's that's how i ano parang uh learned along the way on what ano yung mga knowledge that i retain uh, what's best on my style so yeah, in regards naman sa hobbies um when i during pandemic uh, i got my hands on again in like crochet and embroidery Kasi, kasi nga, hindi ka makalabas, you know? <laughs> yung, uh, the only thing na, ma, ano mo lang, magawa is to do online shopping. So, <laughs> I was able to buy a lot of materials 
embroidery. Kasi way back high school, I got really into crochet. Mm. I made a lot of like, parang bags in high school. That's kind of like my earning before. Alam yung mga phone casing na nilalagay natin mm. sa next yeah. place. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, ginagawa ko yun dati sa school. And binibenta ko siya tig 20 pesos, 25, ganon. And I kind of miss that. Kasi parang uh, I like doing repetitive I, I like doing things repetitively and but in the end when you zoom out uh it's actually accumulating into something mm-hmm. like you, yeah. you just do the re- repetitive process of like knitting and on so uh i got really into embroidery during pandemic and you know try try lang Siyempre, if you're really proud of something you post it and then people are kind of interested na Uy, pwede magpa-commission, ganyan. I was like, nope, I don't want to commission this. <laughs> so, uh, when you get, like, orders, hindi na siya enjoyable for you. Uh, mainly because nilalagyan mo na ng timeline yung things mo. And uh, unlike sa, like, normal, I mean, like, sa hobby mo na, you just wanted to stitch something. You're just doing it to satisfy yourself. But when you do commissions na, you have... You have to, ano eh, you have two people to impress on yourself and your client. So ayun siya, parang, I just, I don't think I don't want to do commissions and embroidery because it's really time consuming and then, ano siya, I just wanted to do it for my mental health. Ayun yes, siya. yes. So, Actually, same. Same for me. Um, Similar sa, like sa, for paintings ko, na sa digital paint ko, sa portraits, Dami actually mm-hmm. over the years na gusto magpa-commission. But yes, mm-hmm. I keep I the same sentiments and I keep I, mm-hmm. I I tell them na no, I don't really take commissions because you know, uh yun nga for my therapy lang to, relax la ako kung uh, gusto ko i-paint yeah. and then if I finish it today, okay, if I finish it in a couple of months, okay. So yung Uh-oh. yun talaga wala siyang pressure na yun lang talaga ang parang maka-zone out din ako na Mm-mm. na you know, for my own satisfaction lang din talaga. So, yeah, it's similar, uh, similar. Yeah. And kahit sa crafting ko, itong mga helmet ko mm-hmm. before, same, daming uh, message for commission. Pero, sabi ko, no, I'm just doing this for myself. Para hindi akong maggasto for uh, uh, bili ng mga toys. So, I just make it for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> pero, <whoa. laughs> you know, pero, yeah, na, na, ano ko, na, I feel you din sa ano yung sa kailangan mm-hmm. separate din ang hobby lang na hobby na Uh-oh. for your own you know for your own Mm-mm. sanity lang din talaga. Yeah, pag hobby siya, if you wanted to make it to do an earning of it, you have to like prepare yourself that you might not able to enjoy it anymore mm-hmm. kasi ano siya um it's gonna uh, it's gonna earn you money and mas ano na siya parang mas time consuming na siya because you know like when you do hobby if you don't feel like doing it you can just leave it aside mm. you don't have the pressure pero yun lang pag pag may order ka na ganun parang oh, I have to finish it I don't like doing it anymore so ba parang you may uh, you may affect the result of that thing Mm. So, parang, parang ma- you just wanna finish it for the sake of finishing it, but then you're not really satisfied. So, you may, it may result to you kind of like hating it on that hobby. <laughs> so, yun siya. Uh, just pick what hobby uh, willing kayo na to suck it up <laughs> or yeah. hobby that you want to keep for yourself. Yun siya. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, great advice. Kay para ano din, may may iwan din para sa yun talaga na for your enjoyment. Oh, yeah, so, bah, pero ano? Yeah. Baka maybe pwede ano naman? Uh, if flip ang story na you will be you will make something na on hobby time and then mm-hmm. parang special edition mo naman na ibat <laughs> na. <laughs> uh, pwede din pwede din parang if you're producing diba maybe like if you're already producing too much yeah. on that part like especially if if it's a production part mm. na on your end like my god I'm doing a lot of plushies na ganon how to discard this I can't keep this but I like 
I like the thrill of doing more. So, better, benta mo na lang siya. At least, <laughs> parang, yun siya, it's, uh, tama pala, it's a different approach kasi hmm. either commission mo siya or you're selling it. Commission is a thing, is a different thing pala. Oo, oh, tama. Hmm. Kasi commission is a specific brief siya. Uh, unlike doon sa, if you're producing stuff, parang, if people just wanna look at it and then they, either they wanna buy it or not. Right? If it's, tama-katama. <laughs> Pwede rin. Pwede rin na option yun. Alternative para mm-hmm. ano rin. Oo. Pero ang, uh, for your mural, ang di ba parang therapy na pa rin? Ang ano mo? Mm, satisfying yeah. na pa rin for you? So is that yeah, um, you know? Kasi, uh, I don't know, I may have like an undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> I, think I, have, like. <laughs> I think we all have, I think we all have, self-diagnosed lang naman. And then, um, Painting for me is also therapeutic, if especially if like if it's a project na it doesn't require you to be in rush. Okay, I'll just take my time on painting this, and I tell my clients, uh, can I paint on on like during the night? Because if it's a project na it's like an opening story ganyan, during the day kasi possible my construction mm. site and it's I'm like, really easily triggered with noise. Especially kapag construction, di ba, ma- maingay, may malikabok, ganon, and parang I tell my clients na, can I paint at night? At least ako lang, and then, um, yung main reason ko din na sobrang alikabok kasi ng place, ganyan, and baka maalik, maka, maalikabokan yung painting process, ganon. So, they understand naman na, okay, I'll I'll give you a spare key don't store. You can paint at night if you want. At least peaceful chair for me. And painting, you know, uh, uh, is really therapeutic because when I paint, my heart beat really is steady. Alam mo yun? Parang hindi siya like uh, hindi siya like running. Hindi siya like an intense workout that adrenaline rush can on. Your breathing is steady, your heart rate is steady, and then, and then you get to have like your own time with your thoughts. And while doing physically, you're doing repetitive things. Yun siya. And um, in the end, okay naman. Except, except lang siguro dun sa mga time na parang sobrang kind of like difficult to access ng mural walls. Like you have You have to be out in the sun. You have to climb the scaffolding, ganon. Um, then, hindi mo naman din talaga control yung time, especially sa mga projects na ganyan, because each client has their own demand. So, yun siya. Like, if meron akong mga moments na ganon, I really take my time on, uh, yun nga, like, be alone and just listening to my music, ganyan. Oh, yun siya. I like that moments. Pero if wala, if hala tayong, hala tayong choice. Wrong choice. You know, you have kailangan to. to. Oh, kailangan gawin. If it's, especially if may mga clients na they want it to have, to, to be like an event where you paint there and people will see you. Parang, ah, I, do, I have to deal with people. I have to talk with people. Kasi, hindi naman may iwasan na may lalapit tayo. Hmm. You'll inquire. So, you have to really learn to socialize that time kasi you have to sell what you're doing kasi they might be a potential client. Niya. You have to have your calling card ready or you have to tell them, you have internet, you can just search me on my socials ganyan, if you're interested. Then, yun siya. Get ready for some inquiries. <laughs> talaga, okay. you know really part of the job talaga to socialize it yeah. so you know us introverts medyo, ano talaga, more work to do yeah. <laughs> yeah. pero uh, ano ba do you feel like ito nang yung parang ang um, yung ikigay talaga ng moment with the Ressa brand mm. murals um I have a lot I have a lot of things that I still wanted to pursue like mm-hmm. Uh, this year, I invested on cutting uh, machines. Mm-hmm. I wanted to pursue like sticker business. Because mm-hmm. um, 
uh, my Canva work is okay, but I feel like I could still do more with my illustrations. Kasi with my illustrations kasi ngayon, yung end product niya nasa digital lang. Mm. Alam mo yun, I could still monetize from that eh. So, naisip ko na, oh, I can, mabilis naman akong gumawa ng mga uh, cute graphics na small things. I could totally make this a business. So, yun siya, parang I invested on cutting machine, I learned about sticker printing, and then I started joining bazaars this year. So, yun yung siguro yung next pagkakabisihan ko. Kasi, I realized, yun, it's just a cycle eh. When you earn from your art, parang you'll get used to that. It's kind of staple na. You want to invest on another art na naman. Mm-hmm. So, parang it's a cycle na. You want to, you invested on that art first. And then it's, if it's okay na, you, you invest on another one naman. Kasi parang, you want to go back to that exploration stage and the thrill of learning something new again. I think, I think all artists can relate na it's always evolving. Yun siya. So maybe, uh, I will never know, maybe five years from now, I might focus on the baking side na naman, on the, you know, it's just like a video game. You'll, learn, you'll gain XP. So I don't think mural is like, I know for me, parang the end game. Parang, oh, it's just like, a uh, skill that I mastered, then, you no. Know, if nasa, ano ka na, level 999, ganon, parang, all the monsters na kalaban mo sa game, parang, it's just, sobrang easy na lang. I don't think that's, does that sound parang boastful? <laughs> no. Pero, you know, it's the same idea, <laughs> na parang, you've mastered this thing already, and then, you move on to the next game na naman. So yun siya, parang it's the same thing with skills. Parang, oh, I'm already, I feel like I already mastered this one. I think I'll move on to next. So I I really actually respect those people na they've been doing the same thing, the same freaking thing for like 20 years, 30 years, ganon. Parang I don't think I'm that, I'm that one. So what, what did they do? <laughs> <laughs> yun na nga talaga ang multi multi potentialite na person talaga actually ang oh. ang bago ko lang talaga na learn din a word from TikTok is multi passionate and mm. actually first time ko rin na dinig to sa yung multi potentialite uh. <laughs> so new word for me pero yeah uh, mm. the, the, I think that's a uh, better ano din na uh, better na mm. path to follow na uh, actually na, na na tackle din ni Marto nung last talk uh, sab- ang ano mm-hmm. niya rin is yun nga continuous learning talaga so mm-hmm. keep on evolving lalo na for us nga na gusto gawin lahat no Oo, it's it's ba? not hindi na siya same din talaga sa before na no just focus on one you know Oo. now you know you can explore everything to 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 mm-hmm. really find what you you know, yeah, yeah. what you want then so it's not the end right now but yeah real good I'll move it on sa DGDC things the part of membership is you will have like discounted uh, you'll be you'll have discounts at events like if it's a paid event you'll be discounted you also get to uh, work with us uh, on the for team, ganon. You'll be also to re- you'll also be able to represent Davao Graphic Designers Committee for like, ano, for events. Like sometimes we get injuries to collaborate with corporates and uh, government events. So it's nice that it's also very good for those starting artists that wants to have a network. Because for my experience, DGD, I owe a lot to DGDC talaga. Kasi I was able to build my career out of the connections that I made by participating in the community. I was able to make a lot of creative friends like you. And, uh, you know, uh, being able to be part of the, the local 
art scene is very fulfilling kasi parang throughout the years I've seen people parang they've they've really grown into uh, big artists as they now and I, w- I was able to witness that so it's very fulfilling na oh before parang magkasama lang kami dito na event and then ngayon sobrang international na niya ganun sobrang ano parang it's also parang speaks into your growth then and i'm so happy for people who have really achieved their creative highlight so in shit all it's very important for students or those starting artists na uh, to join this kind of events to know to talk and to network then with professionals kasi uh, in the end same people lang din magiging possible magiging employer mo ganun possible na magiging workmate mo and it's nice that all the local communities here not just in arts but in the film in the music scene the writing scene are all just same people like i remember that time sobrang sunod-sunod ng mga creative events parang sa 5 pm meron tay merong merong showing ng ganitong creative film dito sa NCCC before and then the next the next 9 pm meron na namang events as well so parang oh it's the same people you know participating so that's nice na parang you get to meet all the people na sila sila lang din I super agree with everything you said because yung video na dapat na episode na release ko for next this week is yun nga uh, dapat feature nung Art Attack 9 but for the past ano ba, two weeks na sige ko edit reshoot rewrite Plus, parang ayoko siya na parang feature lang na vlog type na video so mm-hmm. nag, ano ako nag soul searching ako <laughs> and then fourth iteration na of the whole thing is Aww. exactly what you said to see everyone's growth uh, ang importance uh-huh. ng uh, creative community na uh-huh. yun nga na hindi lang not only graphics designers but everyone else ta, every creative field nandoon yeah. same same talaga sa sabi mo as in <laughs> it embodies talaga kung ano ang DGDC what the community really uh-huh. is you know? yeah. yun talaga ang effect niya on everybody na mm-hmm. uh, I'll I'll show you the video after ng recording. Amazing. <laughs> Pero, no, no, amazing. Same, same, talaga. same sentiment, same, same ideas. Uh, and, you know, same talaga. No, thank you, DGDC talaga for, for, yeah. you know, the opportunities that uh, DGDC has given us for growth talaga and connections. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else to add? We have a bi-monthly release on Mindanao Times on the graphic We showcase uh, local events, creative updates on the local scene. So, our recent release was last July, where we also featured What Else? And our Art Attack 9. It's available locally. You can buy your Mindanao Times at any local newspaper sellers. Siyempre, may mga meron tayong times na creative burnout, ganyan. Meron tayong mga unfinished projects. Meron tayong imposter syndrome. Meron tayong mga zero mediocrity, ganyan. Pero don't let those, ano, uh, uh, things parang stop you from creating. Kasi if you have that parang passion na mga angati yung kamay mo because you wanted to create something, just do it. It's not... It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like uh, sobrang ganda na it will burn you out, you know. But in the end, just do it because it serves the purpose of your uh, uh, mental health. Na you're satisfied with it. Okay, I don't have to post this. I don't have to boast this. I don't have to ask people for like validation then then yung sarili mo lang isasatisfy mo ganun 
just satisfy yourself and if ganon na uh, also try exploring a lot of things if you have the chance to join a lot of communities just try it you know like you'll never know what those relationships with people can bring you in in your career and uh, just join a lot of parang opportunities na for example like may mga events na for free especially sa DGDC we have a lot of free events Your, our people event is the designers meetup it's always free guys just join whenever you want also pala we're planning sa DGDC to do a school invasion uh, basically it's like a designers meetup but in a school setting so DGDC is coming to your school and we will be uh, releasing a lot of details on it in the future we're just asking Now, what schools can we collaborate with this one? Because uh, yung idea namin, we will either do a workshop or we will do a talk. Depende sa kung ano yung lack ng school. If especially each school has their own like different, you know, uh, lacking. Parang they lack this kind of uh, parang subject, so they'd rather do workshop. Pero kung okay naman, we can do talks just like how the designers meet up does and maybe we will do like a portfolio showcase of the students just to parang make them more confident on showcasing their work it's still on the backlogs of the GDC but we will definitely start it in the year so just watch out so follow us on the Davao Graphic Designers Community yes. it's facebook.com that DGDC community DGD com- DG, D, T, I mean like, wait. We'll, we'll DG, post D, it, we'll post it. Yeah, we'll post it, we'll post it. <laughs> And for my, ano, for my personal page, mm. I am on facebook.com slash art of Fresa. All my mural works are there. And for my digital stuff naman, you gotta have and post the digital stuff. I am probably gonna update my Instagram. <laughs> But you know, we'll we'll also post it on the you know, we'll we'll flash it on the screen then for again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll post it. Okay. But yes, <laughs> again, Chris, thank you, Kayo. No. Thank you, Lenny. And you know, uh, I'll probably be inviting you again next time, and maybe yeah. pina ano na nung idea na pina panel of people, mm, na, uh, type that. of yeah. ano na podcast. So yes, we'll. Thank you again, Chris, and you know that's it. Yeah. What else?